just an awesome pleasure to be in the building with such great women. Of course, starting with JAA founder, uh, Miss Joanna Duma. She is amazing. And for her to just press through the weather, all the kind of things that were happening today, and Vivica Fox coming on the scene, and Vivica blasted me <laughs> during the event, which was quite embarrassing, but I appreciated her candidness. So it felt amazing. I'm just glad to be in such good company. The first one was, was just more to empower and excite. That's what the theme was tonight, encourage, empower, and excite. So you guys can find it on my uh, debut CD, Miracles. The music video actually is has gotten over 100,000 views and BET Gospel airs it about four or five times a week. I'm so grateful, shout out to BET Gospel. And thank you, shout out to you guys too. You know what I really wanna do is just make sure that people know that God loves them. It's really not about me. My goal is to make God famous. So I sing to people who are not quite sure what they believe about God. I just want them to know that he loves them and when they hear my music, I hope they feel his presence. And then no matter what they believe or don't believe, they will at least know that they felt something while they heard me sing. So that's my goal. More than a few of my music peers have been involved with domestic violence. And it's just something that's very uncomfortable because a lot of women, we just try to kind of take those punches and like Joanne said, just show up and fake it till we make it. Um, but it is definitely something that needs to be addressed. And of course, when a friend comes to me confiding in me about domestic violence, we make sure that we get her the proper response. So not just what your girlfriends say, but actually go, there's organizations like JAA that will give you the steps that you need to take so you can protect yourself, your children, and make sure that you stay alive and don't bring more domestic violence uh, on yourself. So it's something that the whole community has to get involved in, because I don't know about you, but if, the, if we would hold men and women, because we, we violent too, but if we would hold men more accountable and make sure that they keep them hands to themselves, their hands to themselves, there would be a, a bigger difference in how we see our society and how our children grow up. Oh man, I would just say, hang on in there. Know your value. God did not create you to be someone's uh, beat up bag. No one should be putting their hands on you. And I think that's the issue with women, is a lot of us feel like we don't have true worth. But we are who God says we are. So they need to get help. They need to consult their pastor, the police, somebody, because they are valuable. And uh, nobody should be putting their hands on them, never. I don't care if it's domestic violence, verbal, you know, because it's also verbal violence, you know, behavior. We need to, women need to know our value. We don't, we really don't. So I, that's my encouragement. We gotta know our value, ladies. Fearfully and wonderfully made.